Okay. Well, um, that moves us right on to the item five, the president's report. Yeah, Dr. Weber. Well, uh, our much-awaited uh, Higher Learning Commission uh, report has come in. I'm going to ask Dr. Hogan if you to uh, talk a little bit about that for the board, where we are. Uh, we've received now that draft and all that. Thanks for the benefit of the new trustees to the college accredited by the Higher Learning Commission. Uh, it accredits uh, colleges and universities, largely in the uh, Midwest and beyond. Uh, we had a visit in March of this year from a team of uh, reviewers, peer reviewers. They do uh, an on-site audit of the college and review our academic operations, our financial planning, our uh, operations and planning, uh, integrity and ethics, and grade us on about 112 different items. Uh, we met all of those expectations, uh, so we have an unblemished uh, feedback report from this uh, committee. We'll have two years, two, uh, two weeks to uh, comment on any matters of fact that they have in this. We turn it to them, and then the HLC will formally uh, a vote on the recommendation from the reviewers to uh, extend our accreditation. The committee is recommending reaccreditation for the college. Thank you, Sean. Uh, they singled out a few of our major programs, like One Stop, our coaching for academic success, our use of data for important decision making, so as highlights uh, repeatedly in the report. I think the best thing for all of us was that they gave a very glowing exit interview, and as we informed you, there were no reverses in the report, right? So, so it, was all, uh, it was all good looking for all of us. So a lot of hard work by everybody, Sean's area and Richard's area. Um, the uh, lobby day, uh, ICCTA has an annual lobby day. It's going on now. Oh, unfortunately, they scheduled a few, so uh, Rich Anderson may be going to it. They did that last year. So yeah, well, it was a couple years ago. Years ago. I think it was like two years ago they did that at the yeah, same I, day. I mean, they know all this coming. Well, they have to pick a date. And, you know, I, I talked to uh, Derek Harden, who's attending the President's Council meeting for me, and he said there weren't many people there either. It's just not the best yeah, day. because everybody's going through yeah. this right now. Yeah, right. Yeah. So uh, it is what it is. But <coughs> the um, trustee Anderson may, may attend if he uh, if get out of here. If we get out of here. <laughs> it's not midnight. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Is Nick down there? Uh, Nick Nick uh, went down there, and, and uh, so did Derek. And they're talking at the, they're picking up all the information about the DSM. And they're going to be lobbying for that uh, tomorrow. Sorry. If, if I don't make it down there in the morning, the uh, ICCTA meetings and such go on in the afternoon. And I should be there for that. Okay. Yeah. And I just wanted to remind you that the SGA has their annual banquet on May 12th, uh, and it's on a Friday, and so uh, it's at the uh, Chevy Chase Banquet Hall um, in Ewing, Illinois. Uh, so uh, we'll have that in the information, and I think you have at your place if you'd like to open up a hand. Very fancy. Very fancy. If you'd like very to fancy. open that up. A little invitation. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> yeah. Now you have to go. Okay. <laughs> I think so, this is the fanciest one we've ever gotten. Yeah. So let the. Uh, oh, he can't go. Let, uh, that's right. We have to. Uh, so uh, let the. Uh, let the uh, parents know if you can attend, that'd be great. 